Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to today's purse tripping video. Today is, we're going actually just straight to the bag haul because it was super, super crowded and busy in there because it's 30% off senior day and it's a jungle in there on these 30% on these off days. So, I have some very, very unique thrifted handbag finds today for you guys. They're all for resale. Except for one I may decide to keep for myself. I will show you that at the end. But a couple of these I've never even seen before and they are amazing. So um, if you guys are interested and you see something you want beforehand, you can always contact me on my Instagram. Um, if you don't want to wait until the bag sale, that's fine. But I do want to let you know, I, I have been getting a few people that um, have been contacting me and wanting to pay, you know, five or ten dollars for my bags. And I usually pay minimum of 25 each. Minimum. They go way up from there. They go up into a couple hundred dollars each that I pay, depending on the brand, so on and so forth. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and let that out there that I am a reseller. I do this as a small side business. And... Um, you know, I'm, this is an income, so when you make really small, um, unprofitable offers, then I just ignore the requests. That's how it goes for resellers. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, got some really, really good deals. Oops, hold on a minute. Somebody's having a little car issue. Okay, first I have this red fossil clutch. Red leather brass kiss lock closer, closure and it's got a really cute little brass this guy hits my car I'm gonna not be happy hold on a minute you guys really cute little brass chain handle on it and look at the little key is that not the cutest thing ever so that's the first bag by fossil it's kind of like a almost like a burgundy red color just adorable carry it like that or you can even use it in your purse as a little catch-all okay um, this one I just could not pass it up you guys um, I know I have a lot of Disney fans out there and this little backpack was beyond adorable and it's not for sale anymore because shoot all right the zipper's broken on it never mind um yeah i paid 24.99 for this and i did not even notice till now that the zipper is broken so if you can replace the zipper on this then you can have it for exactly what i paid but you have to pay shipping as well. It's by Disney Animators Collection and it's got all of the little characters, but they're babies. That's why I picked it up. It was so cute. Look at the baby Little Mermaid, the little baby Tinkerbell, the little baby Cinderella. Oh, so precious. It's in a baby blue, but as you can see, I see why it was donated because I wouldn't have donated it either if it was in good shape, but um, right here, it comes undone. So the inside is white with little baby blue polka dots and it has the front pocket. So that's probably not to anybody's interest and I totally understand. So if you want it, I'll list it. But um, yeah, you know what? I should list these bags today just because. Why don't we do that, you guys? Let's just go ahead and today these bags will be listed for sale underneath this video. I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't listed bag haul sales in a long time. So let's just go ahead and do that. If you see something you like, check below in the description box. I will have everything listed with prices, how to pay, but please know once you purchase it, it's your bag. No exchanges, no refunds. You need to ask all questions before you purchase because when you do, it's gonna be yours, yours to keep. All right, let's do this. Um, she's just dusty, but looks exactly like a Birkin. It's not an Hermes. It does not say Hermes anywhere. Um, this is a little, I'm gonna take this off because um, this does not go with the bag. Hold on just a second here. It is actually a Neiman's bag, a Neiman Marcus bag. Um, let's see, the little lock on it says Neiman's anyways. This little bear is so cute. I will, if I don't keep this, I'll be glad to sell it separately. It's actually a little leather bear with a mink fuzzball. 
genuine fur fuzzball. Um, should I? How do I get this off here? Somebody put it on with the keychain, and when you're half blind, it makes it a little difficult. So hold on, you guys. She's because I want to show it separately. It's really, really cute. We got it now. Okay, good deal. We got it. <clears throat> I'll show you the bag first, and then I'll show you the keychain. It's super cute. Okay, so here is the bag that looks just like the Birkin, but as you see, the little lock on here says Neiman Marcus. Can you guys see that okay? Neiman Marcus on the lock. Um, I do not believe this is genuine leather. Here's the inside. It's got like a little pocket over here and then the little way it closes here. And the thing is on this one, there's no little key or does it just pull off? I don't know, you'd have to figure out how to get the little lock off if you wanted to open the little straps but it's super cute, all black, gold trim, or actually say gold tone hardware. Feet on the bottom, looks really good. Top handles are good, back's good. Or is this leather? You guys, this, you know what? I do think this is leather because there's a little rub right there and you know how when leather rubs what it looks like on the side? It looks as if it might be leather. because plastic, it peels. Leather, it kind of like has a little fuzz fray to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. If you're a purse connoisseur, you know exactly. So this very well could be leather, but there's no tags in it that say it is. It just looks like it on the little, it, I think it is leather, you guys. I really do. Anyways, here it is. It's beautiful, black. Birkin style, but it is not a Birkin. It is, an, it is a Neiman Marcus bag. I found an Anushka, you guys. Okay, so Anushka is a beautiful hand-painted leather. All of these bags are handcrafted and hand-painted by a single person. I mean, not the handcrafting part, not the sewing, but the hand-painting itself is done by one person, and they are expensive bags. So this is a satchel style. Um, you can see on it, it's got a lighthouse and all the waves. It's so pretty. Then the back, it's hand painted all the way around the entire bag. There's a slip pocket here for your phone or whatever you wanna put in there. Also a zipper pocket. And the zipper pulls do say Anushka. The bottom is actually leather as well. Look at there's two little birds sitting on a branch of leaves right there. There's so much detail, you guys. It's like a very boho beachy theme. It's right up my alley. And then uh, zips around like so. You will have to provide your own strap because I don't have a blue strap, a navy blue strap, but you could use any color actually, like an ivory, baby blue, dark blue, black. Um, so yeah, this is what the top and the sides look like. The sides have waves as well. I'm taking a little longer to describe them today since I am gonna sell them underneath this video. So, the inside is fantastic. Look at the inside, you guys. Okay, where do you want me to start? Let's see. It has a built-in wallet. This is a slip pocket. This is a zipper pocket, and it has the Anushka label. Then right here is a bunch of slip pockets and credit card slots, and the light is making it where you cannot see. Of course. Uh, let's see. You know what? 
actually. Hold on, maybe we'll do it like this so you can see the inside better. So here, here's the inside. Now you can see the credit card slots, all of the pockets, the Anushka purple lining. It's got a key lanyard in here. And it has all these pockets over here. Very nice on the inside. Tons and tons of compartments. And it does have feet on the bottom. There is some corner wear and that can be wiped off. But yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, so that's the Anushka. Okay, this one, oh, I was gonna show you the little charm. Little leather teddy bear charm. Dad nab this light. <sighs> so I'm just gonna have to show you guys like this. It's a leather little leather bear and he's sitting on a little mink is that mink or rabbit fur let's see feels like mink actually wristlet keychain so there's that and then um, this is an anthropology lucky penny by anthropology doctor's bag not showing you well like this either. This is a pain in the bootay. Oh, wow. It is it is what it is, you know? It just it is what it is. Vlogging is, the lighting when vlogging is usually 99% a pain in the ARSS. Okay, so look at this. It's an olive colored distressed leather doctor bag. Very army looking, very military. It's got big wooden buttons on it. This pocket, the, the interior is so cute so unique this purse is adorable that is a magnetic snap closure on there little fringes hanging down <laughs> number 66 top handle it's got the long strap i just need to trim the little threads off and then it opens like this the inside has lots of compartments with adorable lining. It's a pretty big bag too. It's not exactly small. It can hold a ton, a ton of stuff. Isn't that cute? I saw it and was like, what? I've never seen this bag before. It's so unique. Super, super soft leather, genuine leather. Alrighty, then I have another vintage Betsy. How cute is this one? So adorable. This is velour. This is leather. That's leather. Juicy Couture embossed. It's got this adorable keychain with it. Ooh, what's in here? A little. Oh, it's a little keychain. It's a little key clochette. So you can take it off and put your keys on it if you want to. It's got a little cherry hanging on it with the little leather leaves. All kinds of baubles on this one, so cute. Brass detail hardware. Um, the colors are like a, like a ivory, no that's not ivory, it's kind of like a bone color, turquoise, navy blue. A J on the back. Cute little bow on each side with pockets. This is the Daydreamer. Only one pocket. And then it's got leather on the top of the handles. The inside is all cotton material. The little mirror with the J mirror is actually leather. Here's the inside. So many of you guys collect these. It's so exciting when I find one because I know that you really love them. It makes me so happy to find them. So this one I have not had yet. So here you go if you're interested. This is definitely a khaki, like a khaki brown here. The trim, the leather is all like a khaki brown trim.
All right, then let's do a wallet. I have a Brighton wallet. And this one. Looks like this. And this is where you put your coin. So it's black and chocolate brown croc trim. Cute little bow on it. And then this is opens up and you've got all of your card slots, ID window, slip pockets, and bill compartment. Let's do one more wallet because I only have one more wallet. I have a Michael Kors, maybe, Safiano. This wallet is so nice. Super, super nice. So there's a snap compartment that opens up like this and you can fit all your goodies and your phone in here or receipts, whatever you want to put in there. It's got a double snap depending on how thick of whatever it is you want to put in here. Um, lots and lots of pockets, ID window, ID card slots, then you have this big pocket and then you have the two zippers here and then one right here. Great wallet. Okay, so Michael Kors Safiano navy blue wallet. And then I've got this Michael Kors super cute little Hamilton in a baby blue pebbled leather with gold tone hardware. Side looks like this. So here, let's see. A zipper pocket. There's a little receipt or something in there. A zipper pocket and two open pockets right here. Center zip compartment. And then the front compartment has two open pockets. The edges look great. Just have to wipe the bottom off. Um, the bottom will come clean. There's just some little spots on it, but I will definitely clean and condition that off for you. It'll totally come off. Looks like chocolate milk. Top handles are in excellent condition. Back is, everything is in great condition. It just needs to be wiped down. And then the shoulder strap. Okay, and then, oh, still got this. One of my favorites and a lot of your favorite as well is the Margot brand, which is a super, super supple leather. Margot bags are gorgeous. They just, they mold to your body when you wear it. This is the cross body and it's a large cross body with two front zips. And then the top is a zipper as well with multiple compartments by Margot. Very, very soft leather, silver tone hardware, and the strap is adjustable. Okay, and then a bag that the one I'm keeping for myself. This is an Andy Warhol. He is an artist. Um, there was a while he put some totes out. Now canvas totes are very, very in right now. If you don't know, canvas totes, like the um, graphic totes are super the thing right now. And since this is a vintage piece, I wanna keep it for myself because you either love graphic totes or you don't. I love them. So it's a really, really nice, um, Thick canvas with Marilyn Monroe on the front. Has Andy Warhol's signature on the side. Then underneath it says, it takes a lot of work to, to figure out how to look so good. That's funny. It takes a lot of work to figure out how to look so good. That's on this side over here in like a maroon colored leather. 
Um, the inside is really cool. It's got a mark in it, but you guys know I don't care. Um, there's like a ink stain down at the bottom. Could care less. But it's got these really cool pockets at the top. And then it's got this really nice, it's got a key lantern in it, and it's got this really cute little ball and chain coin purse. You just put coin, earbuds, you know, whatever you want in it. Just a cute little addition. That's got the Andy Warhol tag right here. And you guys know I love my orange and my khaki, so. I'm keeping this one. Um, I was tagged to do a, okay, I'd never heard of this before. Let me know if you guys have heard of this. It's called, what's in my hot girl bag? Now, I'm far from a hot girl. I think hot girls are mostly like the cute little teenagers that carry the canvas bags. But what you do is you take your tote, your chosen, your tote of choice, and you just snap a picture of it and your bare essentials that you carry, not everything that you carry, but things you cannot live without day to day, and then you just post it on Instagram. So I'm gonna do it with this tote, my hot girl tote. Um, by no means, you guys, I am not saying I'm a hot girl, but I was tagged to do it, so I thought it'd be kind of fun. And uh, you guys can see what I cannot live without, absolutely cannot live without, that I absolutely have to carry with me on a daily. I will do that with this bag and I'll post it on Instagram for you. And then I tag every single one of you that have an Instagram to do this and tag me in it so I can see who really does it. All right, you guys. So be sure to check below this video. Um, everything will be listed for you except for my hot girl tote. <laughs> All right, you guys, stay humble, stay kind. Thanks for accepting this horrible lighting and sticking it out if you've gotten this far. And I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.